I uh, recall some guys coming over dressed up in suits and stuff and just standing there looking over. And then when I guess when eventually they recognized that I was the one in charge, they came and started telling me that uh, they were going to take over the field. And I said, well, where are you from? So they said, we're from UCLA and we're gonna take over the field. We're gonna make this uh, UCLA's baseball stadium. And uh, I asked them, I said, well, what's wrong with your stadium that you're using right now? They had a baseball stadium. They still at have it. UCLA. They still have it. And uh, so anyway, they told me, no, says, we're going to fix this field up and make this our home field. And um, then I asked him, I said, well, what about my league? He says, well, I says, you guys will have to go play somewhere else just like that. Well, we, uh, we started playing on that field. Well, now it might be like about 50 years ago. But uh, we were playing... Uh, American Legion baseball, their regular tournaments and everything. Then uh, a bunch of us got together and for a number of weekends, a lot of weekends, we would go and we started fixing up the field. We began by putting in uh, underground water lines for the lawn. Then we planted a lawn and planted outfield and made it a real nice baseball stadium and we even used to run a snack stand for when we had our baseball uh, we played baseball nightly there for quite a number of years and we also had lights for the stadium for when it got dark but then all of a sudden like an overnight thing UCLA came and took over and they told us that they were taking over the field with no previous argument or nothing, they the first thing they did was take our lights down. So now we were without lights. And then they came in and started tearing up the field so they could put their own field in and then built the stands and the clubhouses and everything and called it their own. It, they just took it away from us overnight without uh, letting us know. And then I started filing complaints with UCLA. And it got to the point that uh, we were going to have a big debate. And Rosie Greer was the one that was paying for the field. And so he came to the debate. And of course, being Rosie Greer, he won. And we were kicked out. <laughs> We, we couldn't play ball there because they tore it all up and everything. So we had to scrounge around. We had to travel to different high schools that allowed us. There weren't that many that allowed us, but we had to travel to the different high schools to use their fields so we could play our leagues in the summer like we've done for years. And I used to call uh, the UCLA athletic department and I would argue with them and tell them, just try to convince them that it was our field and we did all the work and uh, they just overnight came and took it away but it was to no avail eventually because I called UCLA so many times they eventually got that debate uh, with Rosie Greer because uh, I was fighting them too much, and they wanted to finally kick me out and stop me from calling them. They just wanted to uh, have the field for UCLA baseball. And then another thing, they wanted to charge us $500 for every game that we were going to play there. They were going to let us use the field, but they wanted to charge $500 for every baseball game. And I told them definitely we couldn't afford that. And it took me a couple of years, but eventually uh, a couple of years of calling them. I kept calling them and insisting. Uh, finally, it got to the point that uh, they told us, okay, so we'll let you use the field for $25 a game, but you can only use it during the day. 
Okay. I said, well, we can't play during the day because they're in school. So they gave me a five o'clock start time, but I had to quit at sundown because I couldn't use the lights. And then that went on my, my battle with them for probably another couple of years before I finally succeeded. Uh, and I don't know if I had any help in the background because I really don't, wasn't aware of any. But I finally succeeded, and they finally started letting us use the lights until uh, our games were over, although they did insist on a 10 o'clock curfew. Because we would normally start our games either 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock because of the kids in school and uh, their activities after school in the high schools. So, but anyway, uh, we had to turn the lights off at 10 o'clock whether our game was over or not. But on the long run, we finally were able to use the lights. Uh, it took maybe four or five years. And they finally, finally allowed us to finally start using the lights. I definitely had a contract with the VA and I had to submit to them a schedule of our games. Right. And we had to maintain the field. UCLA came in and just blindsided me. They, they took over without even letting me know that they were negotiating to use the field or to take over the field or nothing. Like I say, uh, one, the one season, they just told me that that was going to be our last season because they were taking over. And that's when I started uh, fighting with them that it was our field. How could they do that? Um, but it was to no avail. They just came and started tearing everything apart. And, and that's when I started calling the VA. And then I started calling the head guy that was doing this at the, v, at the UCLA. And I kept in constant touch with him on a, almost on a daily basis, just fighting him. Like I say, but it took me a long time to no avail. 